Hello my sweet friends, your host Shurma here. A very warm welcome to my art channel and thank you for joining me here today. I have a fabulous painting to share with you today and I'm calling it the blue roses in one stroke style and believe me it is going to brighten up your day. The materials which we will need for today's project are all listed over here. So let's begin. The first chapter is about planning the background. Having said that, I have a few elements with me which I am going to share with you. The first element is a white watercolor card base and it is 5.5 inches on all sides. Next, I cut out a circle from the top layer of the card base and the circle is around 4 inches in diameter. So, now we have a side folding card base with a circle cut out from the top. The third element is a white watercolor card insert and it fits just inside the white watercolor card base. Now the insert is around 4.5 inches on all sides. Now the circle which we have cut out from the card base is the place where I am going to paint the florals. Next I go back to the first element that is the white watercolor card base and I have dropped acrylic colors, aqua green, cerulean blue and bamboo green on it and used a stencil to create a very interesting pattern. In case you wish to know how this kind of a pattern can be created then please click on the i button which appears on the top right hand corner of this particular screen and it will lead you to such a tutorial. Now let's move on to the next chapter that deals with creating the blue roses in one stroke style. So here is the palette. I have aqua green acrylic color, cerulean blue, prussian blue and white acrylic color and I have a flat brush number 6 in hand and I am dipping it in cerulean blue, white and a bit of aqua green as well. So this is triple loading of the brush. We need to blend the colors well for good results. Next I go ahead and pick up my flat brush number 4 and I have dipped it in Prussian blue and a bit of aqua green as well and I am just creating a very loose form of the rose. Next I go ahead and pick up my flat brush number 6 and it is already loaded with aqua green, cerulean blue and white acrylic colors. Here I start creating the first layer of petals of the central blue rose. The technique which I am using here is one stroke style of painting and that is essentially loading the brush with more than one color at a time and that will help me to create beautiful blending as well as highlighting with just a single stroke of the brush. That is the essence of one stroke style of painting. So here is the one stroke style of blue rose in the making. Would you like to know why did I choose this particular color for today's project? Well, I love the blue of the sky and I'm always totally fascinated with it. And just like Vincent van Gogh said, I never get tired of the blue sky. Blue as a color is seen as trustworthy, dependable and committed. 
the color of the ocean and the sky. The blue color is a constant and calming influence in our world. Don't you agree? The blue color, I believe, is everlastingly appointed by the deity to be a source of delight. And this has been said by John Ruskin. As Ralph Waldo Emerson once said, and I truly believe that the sky is the daily bread of our eyes. Whenever I look at the blue sky, it appears to be limitless and so vast, totally boundless. It appears to be very calm, but it carries huge secrets within it. It is one of the greatest manifestations of the Almighty, the creator of the world, and I feel totally connected with it all the time. Similar sentiment has been very beautifully reflected by a short quote in Sanskrit from Yajurveda, which is an ancient source of spiritual wisdom from my country, that is Bharat, India. And it says, Aham Brahmasmi, which means all beings are connected to the universal energy and there should be no sense of separation at all. Extremely profound, right? Well, once I'm done with the blue flower, I move on to chapter number 3 that is painting the foliage. Here comes the palette for the greens. I have olive green, sap green, yellow acrylic, turquoise green and white acrylic. Right now I have a flat brush number 6 in hand and I have dipped it in sap green and olive green and a bit of white acrylic and here I am blending the colors. And I'm also adding a bit of yellow. So that is four colors on the same brush. So that is multi-loading of the brush. Next, I bring in a liner brush and I have dipped it in sap green and a bit of olive green. And I'm just trying to paint around the petals of the blue rose. Here comes the turquoise green. Once I'm happy with the turquoise green, I bring in some white acrylic color to make it lighter as we go towards the top of the circle. And I also bring in some acrylic retarding medium which gives a very oily effect and a transparency to the acrylic color. some more of sap green and olive green around the blue flower and that leads us to chapter number three that is painting the foliage. At this point I have brought in the burnt umber acrylic color and I have loaded my liner brush with it and I'm trying to create some stems around the blue flower. So my dear friends are you enjoying the painting so far? And are you having fun watching me create this pretty blue flower in one stroke style of painting? And yes, that reminds me, in case you would like to know more about this particular technique or you would just like to refresh your stroke skills, then I would definitely encourage you to visit my past videos and I would be very happy to drop some of the links for you in the description box below. Well, next comes the flat brush number 6 and I have loaded it with olive green, sap green and white. And remember, I have also gone ahead and added a bit of yellow to it to create a very interesting shade of green. Here, I am trying to create one stroke style of large leaves. 
here there's a little fold but I'm not sure if you can see it some more leaves on the stems the leaves are the elements which bring the flower to life don't you agree actually I would love to have a conversation with you in the comment box below and I would love to hear from you your opinions your thoughts about this particular painting or any other painting you might have seen on my channel. I always look forward to your comments and queries so it would be very nice to hear from you. And yes if you have any kind of queries regarding one stroke painting or otherwise please put them down in the comment box below as well. So once I'm happy with the greenery around the blue flower, I go ahead and create the blue rose buds. Here I have picked up my flat brush number 4 and I am creating the blue rose buds with the same kind of strokes as that of the little leaf. So this is basically the leaf stroke which I am using to create the buds. And I have loaded my flat brush number 4 with only two colors that is cerulean blue and white. Next I bring in my liner brush and I've loaded it with sap green. And I'm trying to create those little leaves around the buds. I'm being very light handed over here because I don't want those leaves to be on your face very subtle very light in the next step i load my liner brush with white acrylic color and i'm using it to create some dimensions on the stems once i am satisfied with the floral panel i go ahead and complete the project so let's go over the elements once again the first one is the white card base with the blue and green background second one is the white square insert third one is the floral panel and the fourth one is a white satin ribbon bow next I go ahead and place the insert inside the blue and green card base and I center it properly so that it just fits snugly inside the card base. Next I close the top and place the floral panel through the circle cutout and attach it to the insert of the note card. Next, I attach the white satin ribbon to the note card and round it off with a sentiment which says, make a wish. So yes, that's a wrap on today's project. I hope you had fun watching me paint the blue roses in one stroke style of painting. Do let me know if you enjoyed the process of the painting and I would be very pleased to hear from you. Please connect with me on my social media handles as well and it would be a great pleasure to be in touch with you. Thanks a ton for all the love and support you show to my channel and I am ever grateful to you for that. Also, thank you for being so patient and watching till the end. It means a lot to me. Here are some of my older floral video tutorials you might like. We'll be back very soon. Till then, stay tuned and take care of yourself. Bye-bye.